In this tutorial we will learn about multi-legged robots. Here, we define multi-legged robot as a robot with more than six legs. There is a lot of quadruped robots out there, but robots with six or eight legs are quite rare. Multi-legged robots have their own advantages. For example, they are more stable than quadruped robots and can move even if several legs are disabled. Let's begin from observing animal world. Why do some animals have many legs? For example, in nature, bugs have six legs, spiders have eight legs, and crabs have ten legs including claws. We humans have only two legs and other mammals have four. Evolutionary this is because spiders and bugs have evolved from an ancient arthropod which had a lot of legs and during evolution unnecessary legs disappeared. We evolved from fish like sea animals, and our ancestors have obtained legs when they went out on land many years ago. Now let's see what advantages a robot will have if it has more than four legs. When a quadruped robot is trotting, it must move diagonal legs alternately. This means that only two legs contact with the ground. Since a plane is defined by three points, without proper control robot will fall easily. Mathematically this can be explained as a rotation equation around diagonal line. To make the robot stable, rotation acceleration omega dot should be zero, which means that the center of gravity always should be on the diagonal line connecting two legs. But in case of a six-legged robot, its three legs always contact with the ground, so the robot will not fall. Note that if no external forces are applied to the robot, the robot will be stable unless the center of the mass is outside the triangle. This is the sequence of an eight-legged robot. The idea is the same, each pair of legs moves in opposite directions. In an eight-legged robot, leg contact points form a square. This means that an eight-legged robot is even more stable than six-legged robot because the distance between the center of the mass and the outer boundary of the square is greater than that of the triangle. When a quadruped robot does a pivot turn, two diagonal legs move in directions opposite to each other to create a momentum which rotates the robot. But this multi-legged robot has yaw joint which connects leg and body. So, the robot just rotates the lifted leg in direction it wants to turn and moves grounded leg to the opposite direction to rotate the body. This is how it looks like in action. Now let's discuss calculation of the joint angles. This is how the leg looks like. It consists of four links. Here are dimensions we have to specify to generate proper walking pattern. This is how the links move when the leg is up. Note that the link 2 and link 3 are always parallel to each other and link 4 is always vertical to the ground. Let's assume that leg moves distance d upwards. Since this is a closed link mechanism, calculating only angle theta 2 is enough to know theta 3 and theta 4. Angle theta 2 can be obtained using inverse function of sine. Theta 3 and theta 4 are required only for the gazebo simulation. Since in URDF file we cannot express closed links, we have to set transmission for each join. Now let's discuss rotation of the leg. Here is the top view of the leg. If we set the coordinate system like this, and assume that leg should rotate to point A, the angle theta 1 can be obtained using inverse function of tangent. Advantages of the closed link mechanism is that with smaller number of actuators robot can do complex moves. But variety of the movements are limited. Download the zip file from Google Drive. Extract project files. Move six-legged robot folder to home directory. Move to six-legged robot directory, 
open a new terminal and execute cat can make command. Open a new terminal and execute source command. ROS launch run robot gazebo launch file. Move to the UI directory. Open new terminal and execute the controller Python script. Now you can do the simulation.